You might be wondering, what was good about 9-11? There were 3,000 people that died. But there are some things worse than death, as we'll explore in this video. So on September 11th, 3,000 people died. But I will tell you about 4,000 people that will die for a good reason and that reason is to prevent uh, exploitation keyword exploit also keyword uh, harvest will come up people normally have two kidneys and can live with one sometimes uh, a person will give a kidney to their spouse or friend or loved one uh, if that person has kidney diseases kidney troubles whatever it may be since 9-11 4,000 people have died waiting for a kidney. You can't find someone to give them a kidney. But I say to that, thank goodness, because what are some people proposing? Letting them buy a kidney from another person wanting to sell that kidney to them. If that were legal, which it is not, thank goodness, kidneys would probably go for around $25,000. I'm sure most of you watching get a weird feeling about thinking about uh, selling and buying kidneys. So if you want, right now, you can donate your kidney to someone for free uh, for a transplant, and you'll be fully recovered in about two to three weeks. Imagine if these 4,000 people were saved because they found uh, 4,000 kidney sellers, kidney donors for money. Some of those 4,000 people who sold the kidney might later regret it. These are the downsides now. These are the downsides if we legalize this disgusting kidney selling. 4,000 people might regret their decision to sell a kidney for $25,000 and save someone's life. Let's say it's going to be roughly 90%, so 3,900 people are going to regret their decision. They have to live with that regret for the rest of their life. We do not want that to happen. <clears throat> Some people, if it were legal, could not afford to buy a kidney. And is that fair? I don't think so. Now technically their insurance would actually pay the donor for them since the insurance is already paying thousands of dollars per session for dialysis uh, three times a week for many years. But the principle uh, is the same. Imagine you have a black person selling a kidney to a white person. That is so racist because look at this. A black person is being used for their kidney. Okay? We need to make sure that black person keeps his kidneys and if he wants $25,000 he can work as a janitor for a year and a half. That'll be doing him a favor. <clears throat> and imagine a, a, a white person selling a kidney to a black person. That is exploiting because he should have sold it for cheaper. So if you're a racist, maybe you want to legalize selling kidneys. If we legalized kidney selling, companies that make dialysis machines would go out of business. And plus dialysis uh, it can be fun. You get cool scars and, uh, you know, chicks like scars. It goes in from here to about here. Uh, it's quite painful. Imagine if we legalized kidney selling. These 4,000 are saved. But a couple people might die during the surgery. Uh, it's about as safe as having your appendix out. But uh, maybe two, let's just say two. Let's round it up to, to 100. Let's say 100 people might die during the surgery. Plus, they're all exploited keyword exploit slash exploited also we will be harvesting people for the uh, uh, harvesting harvesting kidneys from people even though you know there are willing volunteers who, who get a lot of money and choose to to do it but just keyword harvest keyword exploit that's what will happen if we legalize buying and selling kidneys to save those lives. If it was legal to get money for your kidney, 
people who would have donated for free might start wanting money for that kidney. And although it would still save money overall, by far, uh, we wouldn't get those inspirational stories of people giving away a kidney for free. Very inspirational. Of course, the transplant surgeon and uh, all the staff get paid. Maybe we could make them do it for free as well. Plus, we can just wait until we can just grow a kidney in a lab. Then these people will be saved. And what's better than saving lives? If kidney selling was legal, it would appeal more to poor people. And that uh, is unfair. Bill Gates isn't going to care about the $25,000 and go sell his kidney. Although I guess the same is true for selling literally anything or uh, any sort of employment. More than 4,000 people have died per year since 2001 from kidney problems that could have been saved. Good job, USA, for preventing exploitation, making sure people cannot buy or sell uh, kidneys or pay kidney donors. We need to make sure people are not in charge of their own bodies because we need to make better decisions for them than they would have made. The bottom line is there are more important things than saving lives and saving money. Like me feeling uncomfortable about how those lives got saved.